closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. <coughs> the constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. I'm not a niece. Edwards, whoever he was, everything's going wrong today. Anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? the best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist with the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick them. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Hello and welcome to what is probably going to be a very truncated day 118 of my attempt to 100% everything in Hitman 3. Okay, so I've got a couple of things to talk about before we get started. Firstly, in case it is not immediately obvious from the video title or the stream title or my voice, I am very, very sick. Um, today is Saturday and last Wednesday I hopped into the shower, I was fine, hopped out of the shower had a raging sore throat. Since then, I have progressively come down with the flu. I've been tested many, many times. Unfortunately, it is not COVID. Unfortunately, the change in my voice is not my balls dropping at last. That's still a couple of years away, I think. Um, yeah, I've just been very, very, very sick. Been taking time off work, been just sleeping a lot and trying to recover. I am guessing there, but I've still got a long way to go, I think. <coughs> so... I'm still prone to coughing fits and I've got a lot of crap in the back of my throat so I do apologize. I may need to put myself on mute every now and then and I've already noticed at the start of the stream that I started it with my mic open so if there was any coughing or blowing of nose there I do apologize. So today may be very short due to that. Uh, second thing is that right on my scheduled start time I briefly had a power surge go through because we've got a couple of storms overhead. So that may also cut the stream off very early. My PS5 wasn't, wasn't plugged in when the surge went through, but my PC certainly was, and that knocked out my PC. So we'll see how we go, but that may force an early end to today's stream as well. Plus, I don't want it to be a very long stream. I'm just not feeling great. I'm really not. The uh, third thing is that if you're watching this on YouTube, firstly, why? Secondly, you should notice that the 1440p option is back. 
I got the computer back from the company who built it, and they couldn't find anything. I would love to talk more about this, but I really shouldn't. Plus, my voice is hurting and I don't want to talk too much. Hell, if I don't talk too much today, might be an improvement over all my other streams, but anyway. Alright, so because I didn't know what I wanted to do today, I've prepared some material earlier during the week. So, first thing I want to show off is the Gunrunner Year 2. That is a list of target that has been done many, many, many times in the past. So what you're looking at here, unfortunately, is nothing fascinating or nothing new. But I did truncate the video. I think I took this on Wednesday. Let's just have a look. This is basically how I handled this elusive target this week. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Vito Durovic, arms dealer and sanctions buster. Although the subject of a global manhunt, the target has successfully evaded capture and prosecution for more than a decade. Tired of waiting for the slow wheels of international justice, the client has turned to the He's busy having a coffin fit and drinking some water, chat. The target inside the Swedish consulate. Live of this. So I think it remembered my loadout on one of the previous elusive target arcades that I used. Yeah, look at this. Straight away it's brought in the Messic, which is exactly what I want, and the Lethal Poison, which is exactly what I want. I think we did this, I uh, couldn't tell you what week it is. Could not tell you what day it is. I mean, I know today is Saturday, I know today is one of my days, but my previous streams, I know the previous two, so I'm going to talk about those shortly. Anything before that is just a blur. Good afternoon, 47. The Swedish consulate is besieged by protesters linked to the imminent coup. Our intelligence indicates the target entered the consulate with a transport vehicle, most likely carrying weapons. He has not been spotted since. Good hunting, 47. Got to be quick on this mute button for the coughing. So, this week in video games, I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, Resident Evil 7 DLC, and Returnal DLC, which means my controls and my fingers are all messed up, which is partially why I'm taking so long to line and shot up, and also why I'm missing shots. I think I just finished playing Resident Evil 7 when I switched over to this. But yeah, we've done this loads of times before. Where I ran just then, it pulled someone over to the left, which is not great. But I'm basically doing this run to confirm that everything works. You just poison him. I open this door for no good reason. I think I waited for him to move back over to the right. No, he's actually moving towards the cars, so at this point, as a test. Just knocked him out and left his body there. And then made a run for it, just checking my exfiltration route. Normally that guy isn't standing there looking at the fence, so I'm not sure if that's a timing thing or what, but it didn't happen on the rear run in just a moment. point I realise, yep, totally safe to run to the exit, there's nothing blocking me. 
So let's try and do the real thing. I don't know if this was a successful attempt or not, or whether I needed another couple of guys to land my shot on target. Yeah, the way I'm feeling, I may do one set of elusive target arcades and then call it quits. I'd still really love to check this whole Interpol agent thing. Who is that guy and why does it matter? Does it matter? Who knows? Uh, so I'm going to kill this dude by poking him with a needle. No one spots me. My finger's hovering over the options button. Again, it unlocks a challenge called the Gun Runner Year 2, and I can't help but feel that's not necessarily bad design, but I feel it's a mistake. I really do. Now, I know if I want a really fast time, what I should be doing is making my way into the consulate upstairs and grabbing the car key. Uh, that is incredibly dangerous. So, I'm not even attempting it, I'm just using the safe exit. probably optimize my routes to the exit here but honestly I'm not all that interested just gonna turn my mic up a bit because I can see it's just on the yellow section there how about that there we go you might actually be able to hear me croaking now and yeah that was good enough for I believe 67th on the leaderboard I still haven't screwed up any of the elusives on Hitman 3. Not yet, anyway. Alright, let me just switch back to the game, because I would love to talk about one of the other contracts that we did on day 116, which is... Which one was it? Don't exactly remember what it was called. No, I want history. This one, Hungry, Hungry Hitman. So this one was interesting. We looked at it very briefly on 116 and I said, no, nah, I'm not going to bother. Basically, this is one of the contracts where you need to eliminate using melee weapons. And so earlier this week in my flu induced haze, I did some testing. So that's why it comes to this channel. You want the stats, you want whatever have you. Oh, it's lost my loadout. Dang. Basically, what I did is I started at the... I don't have a video of this for reasons which will become very obvious very shortly. I started at the kitchens, and I took in two melee weapons. I took in a claw hammer. Because, you know, claw hammers are fairly dangerous when you throw them at people. And I also took... A feather duster, because out of out of the list of melee things here, I believe a feather duster is probably the most least threatening of those. And what I did is I started this with the intent of doing a lot of testing to see how much damage the melee weapons actually do. Because we've seen, we saw it on day one one six, that if you throw melee weapons at someone after you've shot them a certain number of times, it can kill them. So melee weapons do do some damage <coughs> sorry just timing my coughing fit with the music so what I did is I started the kitchens and I dragged one of the servers on the left there into the freezer room I threw the hammer at him as opposed to knocking him out with melee and then I started throwing the hammer at his head just to see when he would die. And the intent was to do some tests along with the feather duster to find out what the difference is, if there is indeed any difference. I don't believe there is. 
whether thrown melee versus taking him down with melee to start with makes a difference or not. I had everything together. I had everything in my head set up, ready to go. Ready to take down some numbers. Anyway, my research is as follows. Conclusion number one. You can throw a claw hammer at someone's head 400 times. 400, 400, zero, zero, and they won't die. That's the only conclusion I drew because I immediately quit after that. <laughs> I don't know if 400 is the exact number. Uh, counting when you've got the flu is hard. It might be plus or minus 10. But yeah, basically I knocked him out with a throw, threw the hammer at his head 400 times, and he still wasn't dead. It took about 25 minutes to do all that. So I've not even bothered testing the rest. I'm going to have to look it up, I think, and just try and try and understand how the internal hit point values of this game work. So for this contract, I've pretty much done nothing. Actually, that's not true. I have done something. I do know where the cheeseburger is now. That is in the chapel in the security room where you can shoot the footage. It's basically on one of the benches nearby. And the blueberry muffin, I believe, is in the barracks near the, I'll call it the wall exit. Like if you start from the docks, instead of going up through the main gate, you climb the ladder. You start near a security room and... Instead of going towards the security room, if you go around the keep, not towards Jebediah Block and Co, but in the other direction towards Kitchens, you sort of run into a little barracks, and the blueberry muffin is in there, apparently. I haven't seen it. I can always bring it along if it's too hard. But, um, yeah, the cheeseburger is there. I did try making a kill with the cheeseburger. It ended poorly. And the apples are in the kitchen, so I will do this one at some point. But it's probably going to happen offline. Anyway, final bit of prepared stuff that I want to show today is something I did do offline, which is this fucking thing. Day 117 ended with this contract with me being trolled hardcore. I have video to show off. Um, it's not, I'm not going to talk too much during it because most of my strategy I've been on fucking, oh my god. I actually blame this mouse. My mouse is double clicking. Uh, today, yeah, uh, I think I'm just going to put skip this one on the video. Yeah, Hungry Hungry Hitman is this guy. Killing all four people here with thrown melee weapons. And I took in a crowbar, crowbar, a claw hammer. I mean, you throw that at 400, four, someone's head 400 times, they're going to die. This is Hitman 3 being very unrealistic in my opinion. <clears throat> but yeah, I went in with this, threw the claw hammer at someone's head 400 times and got nowhere, so I'm going to do some more testing on this one for sure, and I'll be performing this one offline. I do blame my mouse for that because it is double clicking. Um, yeah, the other one I want to show off is Attack of the Red and Black. This is the one at the end of 117 where I was basically just being tr absolutely trolled, especially on that last run where someone just decided to ragdoll all over the place. I do have the video ready. Uh, I did that earlier in the week as well. I'll show that off now, but I won't talk too much during it because the strategy really is it really is quite the same as what I did on um, day 117. Nothing much has changed. If there are any significant changes or notes to make, I'll make them. But otherwise, I'll probably be pretty quiet during this. I need to come up voice a rest. I can't recall why I let the intro play out like that. might have been to improve the position of the people at the helipad. What do you think that noise was? Go have a look. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Hey, you're not actually a scout. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning 
Got a bit lucky there. The door didn't close behind me, so I had to wait for the door to close manually, and the guard on the left can spot that body through the door. Yeah, I'd delay to start here because it lets me run straight through here. Although in this case I did use the cover points to move. I'm not sure if that helps or not. Now what I do up here, I definitely want to talk about. I don't think it makes any major difference, but I tried it anyway. I think I actually screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up there. Pay no attention to that. So pay no attention to that, but do pay attention to this. I don't think it works, but what I was trying to do with that little movement there is I was trying to get Constant to move over to this side of the map because on some of my failed attempts while I was offline, I did note that the Constant it's RNG as to whether the constant moves towards Jebediah block, like he is right now, or whether he goes into the tower to talk to the butler. I had a couple of attempts where I was working on the guards outside the tower, and the constant would just walk in on me and interrupt me. So what I tried to do there, I don't think it works, but I tried it anyway. The intent of that little movement was to try and force him to move towards Jebediah block, by triggering that conversation. Yeah, the doors in here are just... They don't work properly. They just don't. Even getting through that door was a pain in the bum. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was thinking there, whether I was thinking maybe I can nail her as she was making her way up the stairs or what, but... On seeing that, I decided to start working on Jebediah Block. I needed two throws for this guy, as is customary. Never mind. I'll just knock him out and leave him there. And upon immediate hindsight, I realized what I should have done is switched into his disguise. 
honestly, this part actually went pretty smoothly. I still don't think knocking that guy out is necessary, but just in case he hears something when the breaching charge goes off, I figure it's safest. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing here. Looking for a prompt that doesn't come up. Did I really nail her through here? Honestly, that didn't look, look like an accurate shot to me, but it worked and the guard didn't spot me, so that's all that matters. It's alright, there's a doctor right here. See? All of her problems are fixed. So, with these two out of the way, now we can start working on the tower. I'm not sure why I did that, that was completely unnecessary. Yeah, some pretty awful timing there, but I think I use a coin to separate them. Jesus. Calm down, calm down. I'll check it out. Got it. Awesome. Yeah, moving the body around here is a necessary evil. Just because the guard upstairs could potentially spot it along with the gun here. And the coin, which is why I picked all that stuff up. Shoot down the saber. Using our silence weapon. And I think we're going to immediately drop the thing. I didn't pick up the briefcase, that's interesting. Grab the saber and fold it into the briefcase. Can't imagine that does anything for the structural integrity for the sword, but whatever. And we switch to butler. Now, someone asked on the previous stream, and it's a very valid point, the butler disguise is the worst disguise because how does the butler get to work? And it turns out there is actually a legitimate answer to this question. The butler can't cross the bridge leading into the keep. But the butler can 100% come down into the morgue. And furthermore, it's kind of hard to see, which is... Um, I'll talk about it again in a moment. But the butler can enter the keep on this level here. Like outside right now behind me. I assume that the butler is um, restricted from going into the event upstairs, if that makes any sense.
the butler disguise actually has a path where they can get to work. Fortunately, we're going to interrupt her conversation here so we can get rid of the last guard. <coughs> She restarts. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you died only. And she won't be starting again. Switch into these disguises for just a second to set off the breaching charge. And then switch back. Now this is where I think I could make, in hindsight after doing this contract, I think I could make a significant time improvement by going to the right of there where Miss Washington just came from. It is legal to go through here as the butler disguise, uh, but where I'm going is completely illegal. And there's, if I went over to the right, I could probably find a much, much safer path down, a quicker path into the dungeon where I could do everything much, much more cleanly. As it is though, this was all following the plan from day 117, so there's no significant change here. Yeah, I don't think any of what I'm doing here is necessary. We don't have the suitcase anymore or a non-lethal melee, so having to use the subdues. And at some point here, I realized I can just switch into this disguise and that's going to make things much, much easier. If, of course, I remember to drop the saber in the process. Did I remember to drop the saber? Yes, I did. And yeah, I'm just clearing out this room using the nuclear option. so that I can run through as the butler. See what that was. I was in two minds as to whether to pick up the saber or not, whether it would be spotted here. Also kind of surprised that the chef over on the left didn't spot this body, which is why I panicked a bit and moved it over here. Can you just go and check it out? Yes, yeah. I think I got a bit lucky there, but I'll take it. So at this point now I can go back and grab the butler disguise, but I choked this guy out for good measure. So to briefly remember what I was doing. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think I was looking for a non-two-handed melee weapon. Like a wrench or something that I could use just to knock people out systematically. But all I could find was the frying pan or the extinguisher, with neither of which are great options. We don't need to knock anyone out in there, we can just sneak past. And here, unfortunately, this is going to be very painful to watch. I would skip through some of this, but now I'm going to make you suffer with me. I hope you're okay with that chat. I'll have a look. Stay here. Have a cigarette or something. And this is my attempt at just pulling a random guard. And I'm pretty sure it didn't work. I have no clue what the hell I was doing there. Um... That's interesting. I picked up the lead pipe and then I didn't use the bloody thing.
I have no clue what I'm doing here, chat, really. Okay, so I think this pulled a non-target out of the pool. Yep, there we go. And how did I handle this next part? I pulled him slightly over to the left with the lead pipe so I can get behind him and take him out. I wonder what that is. See. Okay, he's going to turn around and then I'm going to pull him now. What? And now I can take him down. So even with my more optimal thought, which I'll discuss in just a moment, I would still have the problem here of having to pull these guys out of the crowd, simply because I don't have another emesic shot to use. There might be another way of doing that, but if so, I don't know what it is. Did I actually open that thing? I think I opened that thing. Uh, at this point, I think I had a panic attack and just made sure everything was ticked. Switched over into his disguise because that lets me move a lot more freely. Picked up all of my batterings. Did I pick up that rifle and move it? No. Right, so the dude that's patrolling nearby is an enforcer. I wait for him to move away. And if you look at the radar, you can see the red dot is actually closest. So at this point, I was feeling confident that the next pull would actually pull out the target. And that definitely worked. I needed to do some trickiness inside the corridor, however. Okay, so I've got the target moving. Don't move. I'll go check. No, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. Did I take this dude out as well? Yes, I did. What I did is I opened this up. Or maybe I thought, oh, if I need to take this guy out, then I need to hide the body in here. Did I pull this guy towards me? No, he's walking back. But yeah, that was my plan. If I needed to go nuclear on this, I would have pulled them out one by one and moved them into that room, into the catacombs upstairs. There we go. No risk that time because he is literally the only one with a question mark above his head. Door closed there, which I think reduces the sound. There we go. And I think... What I what I should have done, really, looking at this, is I should have um, moved the rifle a bit further up the stairs here. But instead, what I did is I switched into the butler disguise, got the saber ready. And it's a bit of a risk, but it paid off. Just giving a good look at 47's eyes there as he contemplates what he's about to do. Yes, it is going to hurt. And finally, we've managed to make all the kills, and I didn't realize until the very last moment that this is a trespass. So I just got to wait for her to turn around. And then we can knock her out like so. Now, the one part that could have made this whole sequence much, much quicker is as I'm running through here, you're going to see a ladder. Somewhere. Right here. That ladder leads up into the bathroom of the showroom. And I believe accessing that as the butler is entirely legal. 
So in other words, that whole part with the kitchen, we didn't have to go through that. We would we could have just gone to that ladder, made our way through the sewer past that one lady, and then we would have just had the problem of needing to pull out the various guards until we get to the target. But yeah, that is this contract done. After many, many attempts on 117, I did it offline, and that's how I did it. And honestly, even though that was in excess of 20 minutes, the leaderboard position wasn't too bad. 17th. I don't think I looked at the actual leaderboard, like to see what the fastest time was, because that would just be depressing. But 17th um, with that particular strategy, I think is not a bad outcome. It's probably a testament to the fact that no one knew how to do the damn thing. Anyway, that is that contract done. So, 45 minutes of me croaking and failing and getting my settings messed up and whatnot later. Let's actually play some Hitman. What I might do is... We actually have some new content this week. In the form of List of Target Arcade. Where upon doing one of the three, we're going to get the Ruby Red 300 Sniper Rifle. If that is the same as the Sega 300 Ghost, then that's going to become our default from now on. It just has to. And then next week and the week after, we have some featured contracts coming. But I'm going to fall behind while I recover from this flu, so... Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, today, though, I definitely want to get at least one of these done. I started on the Chongqing video because I want to start here, so let's take a look. We have to kill the Rage... We have to kill our targets solely through accidents. Okay, well that seems easy enough. Where is that starting? Is that new? I don't know if the street guard is new or not, so I only recall being able to start from four, four other locations in Jonking. That that would be the roof with the drones, surely. Good evening, forty seven. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, forty seven. Where am I? I am on the correct floor already, never mind. Um yeah, I think this one is as simple as just poisoning the cocaine. And the reason I've brought the Amesic along is just because I want to try this. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, I don't think this is good at all. Oh, shit. Oh, it's coming out again. Are you two going to notice me if I do this? No, you're not. Look at that. All right. Just need to avoid that first guard. Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fighters. Does bets, this work? Riling up his fighters and taking Yo, illegal buddy. bets. No, it doesn't. Gotta wait a couple of seconds or um it just doesn't work on him. Good evening, 47. Or is he just gonna Sully stay in enforcer? is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. It 
Damn, that dude on stairs is really getting me tied up. Sully Bowden, a.k.a. The Crusher, middleweight champion with, let's say, a taste for sweat and blood. Uh, serious question. Does poisoning count as an accident? Uh, for the sake of the stream, I'm not going to risk it. One moment. Still pretty sure I don't have the lethal poison unlocked on this character, so we'll see how we go. Let me just see where I can find lethal poison in Chonking. Wrong accounts. Apologies. Yeah, today is just awful. Please blame my sickness. In the meantime, that'll give me an opportunity to look this up on hitmaps. Okay, poison, lethal poison pill jar. Where can I find you? You're on level 4 somewhere and I'm using my phone, which means I can barely see anything on this screen. Lethal poison is... Oh, it looks like it's upstairs near the scientist area. Okay, that should be fairly easy to grab. Yeah, this account has absolutely nothing unlocked. Uh, so we're doing this the hard way, I'm afraid. Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events. Riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. Looked up, PNG. How you doing? Tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, forty-seven. We're just testing to see if lethal poison does actually count as an accident if they ingest it. Got a horrible feeling it does not. That's right, they've changed the guard layers on this list of targets to make it very hard to access the block. How am I doing? I'm currently dying of the flu. Which is why it sounds like I'm finally going through puberty at last, but that's not the case. Um, yeah, today's going to be a very short one. You don't think it will? Pretty sure any poison and accident kills a separate. Yeah, I'm on my test account at the moment and I just really want to test this out to confirm that suspicion. Because I'm like, oh, I can take this guy just by poisoning his cocaine, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to result in me failing. 
But you know what? Let's confirm it. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm just going to go lethal up here. Just want to get up here, grab the pill jar, go downstairs, poison it, evening, and move on with life. Sully, the crush of Bowden, is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. Is there anything I can do here? It's a timing thing. I see. That doesn't yes, apparently the pill jar is right here. Uh, how can I... Do I have my throwable? I do. Let's grab a researcher disguise. Though we are going to get spotted immediately, aren't we? I think I'm in the correct area for this um, lethal pill jar. The map certainly looks correct. God damn it, I forgot there was a disguise already in there. Oh my god, um, is that it there? Yes, it is. Right, so the next question is, how do we get down to the... So the dudes are poisoning the cocaine. Really? Hey, how did you get in here? That's good, sir. Keep walking. There's nothing here for you. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. Oh, come on. Jesus. Just doing a little parkour and you immediately go to lethal force. Carry on with this. Lost sight of him. Move to a better position. 
position. Okay, okay, okay down. gentlemen, we're here. Yeah, Pay no attention, send a naked body upstairs. Oh, that's not good. Where did he go? He's just going to hide out in this dumpster for a bit. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just get this batch of least for target arcades done and then call it quits because honestly I feel absolutely terrible. For now though, just testing to see if lethal poison works. Pretty sure it won't. Wait, you saw me? Okay, this is not going well. Um, okay, it seems pretty easy though. All I need to do is get into the science of the disguise, make my way down by climbing over without being spotted. Always in the thing when no one is looking, and then we can go from there. Sully, the crush of Bowden, is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night. So this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. If the poison does not work, then I have a problem. Yeah, this is clearly a timing thing. If I get up here quickly enough, I can just waltz through these guns without being spotted. I don't feel like myself. Something is wrong with me. Yes, I think you're a bit confused, Justin. I'll be back later. I absolutely do not need to pull anyone into this room. Although we do have a lot of enforcers now. need you to move away from... Are you going to move away from there? If not, let's give you a hand. Hey, I don't know what that was. You mind taking a look? Well, sir. Damn it, I always get this floor confused. Um, okay, neither of you two are looking. So I can just go down here. Sully Bowden, aka the Crusher. Well, I'm not Every trespassing you. With, let's say a taste of sweat and blood. What do you think that noise was? Someone should go see. Aye, aye. Tell when he comes up here. Never mind. That's super interesting. This is not a trespass. Let's just confirm this because he should not spot me according to the previous run. Yep, there we go. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hope this works. Uh, 
spoiler alert buddy, you're not the only one. Alright, let's just find a safe place to hunker down and see when he goes down if that breaks my kill condition. That LOD on the signs just now. If you just joined and you're wondering why I'm wandering around chonking randomly, it's because I've poisoned some cocaine. I'm waiting for the target to partake. And we're going to see if it breaks the kill condition of accidental kill. So just thinking ahead, if this doesn't work, then my immediate two options are I either kill him when he is outside in the courtyard somehow, which is dangerous because there are so many people around, or I could potentially replace the lethal poison with emetic poison and then drown him somewhere, potentially. And that's going to need a bit of testing, however. Uh, it is also raining, so there are a lot of puddles around. Maybe a taser would work. Now though, I just want to see if the poison works. Okay, is this going to break my kill? Target eliminated. Well done. Now find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. There was a horrible sound effect. Oh, it's an optional. Okay. So it's not the end of the world, but uh, that's obviously not how I want to do it. <coughs> Sorry, just having a coughing fit. 
Um, yeah, lethal poison does not work. Okay, good to know. My immediate thought is let's swap that with an emetic and we'll try that out. Let me just switch back to my main account and we'll try it with an emetic to start with, see what our options are like and go from there. So we've seen pretty clearly that we can make our way down there and poison it very, very quickly. Hell, I might even be able to shoot him with the emetic, but honestly, poison of the cocaine would be safest, I think. Um, we can also get into a researcher disguise. Mind you, we're safe to go down there as a block guard, so there's no need to change to researcher. Let's just try what we did again, but I'm going to change it to an emetic, and we'll see... We'll see what happens. You like that starting screen screen? I think you're the first person to ever say that, Luke.png. It's basically my DOS box prompt. Because so I'm an incredibly old person, and that's basically how games used to look like back in my day. Ah, uh, what am I looking for? Game modes, arcade. Remind me to check this laser. I'm convinced that wasn't there before. Uh, I need to switch that with a Mesic. And we'll just go in with that and see what our options are. Yeah, I'm not an artist, so I figured that the quickest, dirtiest thing that I could do is basically just make something out of ASCII art. Well, not even ASCII art, but you know. Basic blocks of colour and text and nothing more. Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking oh, illegal is, bets. Oh, the event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. Excuse me? Yeah, the researcher is tr trespassing in that little area there, but the block guard is not. Let's get rid of you. This isn't good. Oh, I don't think this is good at all. Hell, I don't even need to shoot that guy. I can just use the uh, fuse box to get rid of him. Where is my target? That is Sully Bowden, a.k.a. The Crusher. Middleweight champion with, let's say, a taste for sweat. And blood. I might be able to take a shot on him from here. Let's just see how this plays out. He's going to come in here, he's going to partake, but then where will he go after that? <coughs> so the first dude that I poisoned is throwing up in a bin out here, which is not ideal, because I can't drown him here. He is, however, standing in a puddle. So potential option, I could just poison him, drop a taser here, and run. If he is not the first person to be poisoned, if he is the second, which is what's happening now, what? what's going to happen? Fucking out of gems? Fucking money grabbing scum. Okay, I'll pay. No, I need to focus. You know what other game has gems, chat? That came out recently with people dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars on it and not getting their gems? Alright, this guy has ceased. Yeah, okay, this is not going to work. Quickest, dirtiest answer would be to just poison him from the room downstairs. 
And then assuming he comes to this uh, bin here, I can then tase him in the puddle. I do need to be somewhat careful of this guy patrolling, however. I might need to take him out beforehand. Just to make sure he, I don't accidentally kill him instead. But yeah, this looks like the easiest answer by far. Alright. We'll swap you for a micro taser. And we'll see if we can shoot you from downstairs. Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. Hmm? All right. Timing won't be great here, but it's fine. Let's just see if I can take a shot on him from here. That is Sully Bowden, aka the Crusher, middleweight champion with, let's say, a taste for sweat and blood. I totally can. Is this a trespass? Not a trespass, but there's so many enforcers around. All right, where is he going? I think he's coming up to the same point. Not good. So not good. Yep, okay. So all I then need to worry about is this guy here. But if I'm fast enough, I can probably get rid of him, drag him into the coffin, drop the taser, and then make myself scarce. Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and take... Uh, too much of a rush. <coughs> Good evening, 47. Sully the Crusher Bowden is currently setting up one of his street fight events, riling up his fighters and taking illegal bets. The event takes place tomorrow night, so this is a perfect opportunity to get close. Good luck, 47. Huh? That is Sully Bowden, AKA the Crusher. Middleweight champion with, let's say, a taste for sweat and blood. I thought that may have actually hit the door. I've lost so much time now. Um, okay, let's see if we can knock this dude out. Uh, just walk this way a bit, please. Bumped into him, which is not great. Grab your gun. Drop the taser. Dodge that enforcer. Set the taser off. Hey, you up there? Target eliminated. Well done. Now find an exit. You're I'm not using the correct exit, exit, but it's fine. Yeah, it would have been quicker for me just to... I can't restart this, can I? No. It would have been quicker for me to use the motorcycle. That's probably the cleanest solution that I've got.
Yeah, I'd like another go at that one just to use the other exit to see if I can reduce the time a bit. For now though, I just want to get this set of three done and then I'll see how I'm feeling. It's busy coughing my lungs up. Uh, again, we have to kill our target solely through accident, so what we normally do with this guy is we poison him with lethal. We can get away with just poisoning him via emetic and then drowning him. I think we've done that on one of the previous Elise of Target arcades, so that is not a problem. Oh, they've changed this for sure. They're being a bit sneaky now. You used to be able to start down at the projection bar, but that is not an option here. Alright, let's see if we can get into someone's pants and get into the back of the bar. Poison him and then drown him in a toilet. So if I can bypass the queue, I'm going to immediately turn around. Is there any reason to come that way rather than going through the bar? I'm right there. Just waiting to Honestly, probably not, apart from the fact that I'm dodging the ICA agents going this way. Uh, I believe the target is. I have no idea what a target is. Could be having a drink right now, I can't tell. Your female, I can't change into your disguise. And he's now spotted the body. Yeah, this whole part is a bit confusing. Um, hmm. So if he's walking away from the juice bar at this point, then I need to kill him in an accident elsewhere. That's kind of hard because I don't, I can't bring along my gun. And he's going to frisk me, which means unless I'm holding a device or something which is undetectable to frisk, I'm not going to be able to get past him. So tasers and stuff are probably out. What about if I go this way? That may be quicker than actually getting frisked. We are not getting through on first cycle. Hey. That is not happening. Did it call again? Yeah, it's fine. I'm right there. Just waiting to pick a little transaction of my own. Yeah, I know. How do we do this? <laughs> Problem I've got is twofold. The bikey can spot the female body. And getting to that guy could be a problem unless I use one of my coins. He saw nothing, man. I 
Though I think leaving the generator off could pull the the other dude. Gets three there. That upset the biking outside, but I don't think. No. Whoa! You can't be here. Ah, what are my other opportunities? Let's just follow the target around for a bit. I don't see any ICA agents on the map. No white dots. That's Is he directly under here? Chesterfield. How does it feel to meet a man with a higher body count than your own? If he was directly under here, then possibility is that I might be able to smuggle in a handgun. It looks like your targets developed a taste for the juice bar, 47. Um, what now? Sir, smuggle in a handgun and shoot it down, but honestly, that would be... That would be very, very hard. I'd have to take the shot from somewhere like here and hope that I hit it before he moves. That would be... That would be close to impossible. And there's a good chance I would cause collateral damage along the way. But yeah, I could, I could drop it there. I'm running past there. Um, none of the other stuff there is useful. Even that detour might have taken too long. No, that is not happening. That is an option, however, so what I might do is... There's also puddles inside the club, I believe, so how about we swap the Emetic with a... The Emetic could be useful, though. I can probably find rat poison around the map. You know what, let's swap the coin with a taser. We'll go in with that and we'll just be patient. I would like to check one thing though, and that is, will Welcome the guard the spot the micro taser? Your target is cut. Look, if I get frisked here, am I screwed? Sir, if you want to no get through, allowed. I'm gonna have to pad you down. Even when you're on the guest list. Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. Thank you. Please proceed. That's kind of super interesting, I think, because, yeah, it says micro. But it doesn't say not detected during frisked. One of the implication is that it's micro, then, yeah, it can't be detected full stop, or whether it's actually missing that label. So I'm pretty sure if you're carrying a standard taser that will be detected during frisk and you will be in trouble. Alright, what can we do with this arsehole? Thank you. 
I've just realised this is much easier than I thought it was. I apologise. I need to swap this gun. With that. We can hit him as he's walking towards the juice bar and then drown him and then immediately leave. The only thing I do need to watch for is the camera. Yeah, licked up NG. I agree. You think micro? It's like, yep, it'll never be detected. But it should have that label on it. What's that dude doing? Ah, as long as nothing has changed here, then I can just drown him and leave. That is Terence Chesterfield. How does it feel to meet a man with a higher body count than your own? Yeah, well, Target he's dead now. The fund is transferring payment as we speak. Now let's hope the fire exits are up to code 47. Ah, uh, should I just use the scooter exit, but it's fine. Once again, I'm going for a fast kill setup and then dawdling to the exit. You were very confused when throwing the micro taser was illegal, yeah. This game has a lot of unusual rules. My favourite one is that you can aim the gun at people sometimes and that's fine, but if you shoot the gun, they'll bust you. And I say all of that when I'm when you're not wearing a guard disguise. So you can be dressed as a civilian. You could be carrying a gun, which is illegal. You can aim the gun at someone in full sight of someone, and that is legal. But if you shoot the gun, that's an illegal action. What's left? These two assholes. One of whom can be very, very bugged in the dining room downstairs. Um, this one could well be a problem again because I do remember using poison to take them out. And poison is not an option. Uh, where can we start? Guard room, please. Yeah, I think this is going to do it for me for today because my my voice is very very weak and I feel like shit. Good afternoon, forty-seven. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine. Whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Very interesting gun laws in the world of assassination, I agree. Welcome interesting with a capital I. Your targets are currently separated. Each How do I get around this guy? Their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful. 
47. These men are truly diabolical. I mean, we're going to find out shortly, but were those decals on the back of his shirt there before I fired the dart? Because if not, damn, this dart gun does some damage. Uh, where are you throwing up? Yep, that's fine. I don't remember where the other dude is, but I thought he was upstairs somewhere. Questions, move it. Oh, Jesus. Right, last chance on. That's it. Stop. <sighs> Why are you not complying, sir? You need to follow me. Enough with the monkey business. We're going downtown. Yeah, there's some interesting physics in this game. I don't know if you call them physics or not, maybe, but just interesting rules. For a game that's already as complex as this, I'm not begrudged to complain about it too much, but honestly, that was some interesting interesting stuff that just happened there. Um, but where is our second target? Apologies, let's see if it coughed my lungs up again. Uh, the other targets in here. Uh, how do we get to here? Okay, I've got vague, vague memories of flooding back now. This guy comes into this room here. Into the lawyer's office. And he drinks from that beer bottle, and I distinctly recall poisoning that beer bottle. And that is not going to be an option here. Hi there. Is my shift over already? Yes, I'll take over from here. Get out of my world. Yeah, so he's going to come into this room along with the bodyguard. I believe the bodyguard is, given that that, that one's not moving. Robert Burke, God damn it. An embalmer for the mourners who can afford him. His actions to please Mr. Rowe's fiendish appetite make him an equally diabolical confederate. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Hmm. So really, all I need to do is get into a bodyguard disguise. I can take him out from here, dump his body in there. How do we get rid of this guy? Well, that's the dude that came in, and he's just staring at me. Well, the deceased is not ready yet, and I think you should show some more respect for the Carlisle family. They hired me to make the body look its best. It's not such an easy job, believe me. So we will have to take the time it takes. Well, take it up with the family. I'm sure they love to listen to some prima donna undertaker whining about his time. You disgust me. I'll call you when I'm done. definitely takes a swig out of there at some point. I'm wondering if he's going to move over here. 
If so, I could potentially throw a coin here, get him to turn around for a moment, and then make a push. Yeah, that guy's not moving. I need to take him out before he comes in. This guy is a problem. He is the only problem that I've got. I don't think that's a good idea. But if you insist... I don't like that chandelier up there. Alright. Let's head upstairs and see if we can figure this out. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently okay, serving no. tasters to Gregory Carlyle, no trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. All right, can I pull this guy in here? Huh? Man, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Not sure what I was trying to do there, but it's fine. Let's see if that gun is going to get rid of the other bodyguard. That is Robert Burke. An embalmer for the mourners who can afford him. Okay, spotted His by main target. Mr. Rowe's fiendish appetite make him an equally <coughs> diabolical confederate. Sure. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Uh, that's real. You know what else is real? Me knocking you the fuck out. And then tossing you out the nearest window. Okay, that works. So, we have an enforcer out there. We have to leave this way. Got an enforcer outside here. We could just climb down the stairs, you idiot. That yeah, is Jack so... Rowe, aka Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. His recipes might be bold, but he is a charlatan, if there ever was one. So, a couple of thoughts. I either do that first and then go upstairs, kill the guy, come back as a bodyguard and then drown him. I've got a feeling that the window may be a bit too tight. The thing that worries me is there was originally a bug where he would get stuck in this room and he wouldn't leave. I would be able to poison him and he wouldn't be going to the toilet like this. I have no clue if they've actually fixed that or not. What I would love to do very quickly is just check the timing on this to see if it's possible. I don't think it is, but I'm going to try it anyway. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. 
Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. No, not that. Yes, lad. Thank you, game. Okay. Man, I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. Ah, uh, where is my target? Okay, he's down there. He's throwing up. Yeah, this is not gonna work. I don't need to hide him. <clears throat> Where is he? That is Robert Burke, he can spot the gun. an embalmer for the mourners who can afford him. His Not the end of the world. To please Mr. Rose's fiendish appetite make him an equally diabolical confederate. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Yeah, there's no one near enough time to get that done. All right, so I'm going to try my original run and hope that the domestic needle works on the target and that I don't get spotted taking the shot. If I do and it all goes south, I'll Good just wing it. 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carl. Alright, let's let the intro play out because I can get past this guy a bit quicker. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine. Like so. Whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. We might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Yeah, we'll dump this guy out the window, go downstairs, shoot the second target. That is Robert Burke, an embalmer for the mourners who can afford him. His oh, actions geez. to please Mr. Rowe's fiendish appetite make him an like equally behind? diabolical confederate. Don't be fooled by his appearance. Just need him to leave the room with that handgun. What was he holding? I have to check what he was holding. I'm going to lose time, but it's fine. Target down. It's not over yet, 47. One more to go. An antique mystic syringe.
Okay, target is currently in the dining room by the looks. That is Jack Rowe, aka Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon and has succeeded. His recipes might be bold, but he is a charlatan, if there ever was one. Okay, it looks like we are not bugged. So all I need to do is drown him here and then make my way over the bridge and that will do it. And that is going to do me if it's a tie because I feel like death. <coughs> I may be online tomorrow for a couple of hours. Where is he going? Why would you not just use the shortest route to the toilet, buddy? I mean, I won't complain too loudly just as long as you actually come here and throw up. Diana says, don't be fooled by his appearance, but he looks like the exact person who would be doing these crimes. Yeah, I can absolutely agree with that. I mean, that white coat looks perfect to, um... Targets eliminated. Find an exit. It looks like the sort of gown that you would use for those sorts of things. Absolutely. I agree. I do have the question if white is the correct colour though, because getting blood out of that would be very hard. Like use a dark colour or something. Maybe brown or red, I don't know. And once again we have no music here, don't know why. Yeah, I'm going to call it here because my voice is fucked and I need to cough up my lungs and blow my nose and stuff. Um, yeah, I may try streaming tomorrow if I'm feeling slightly better. And if I do, then it's just going to be more at least for Target Arcade. 45th? Yeah, I'll take that. What have we here? We have the White... Why is it called the White? The White Ruby Rude 300 Sniper. It's such a long name that it had to actually stop a couple of times during its title. Uh, get street smart with this high precision sniper rifle, decorated with a gritty urban motif. So take that shot to the techno trill. thrill. Silencer and high precision scope included. So it is subsonic, marksman and extended scope. I reckon this is the same as the standard 300, is it not? Yeah, thanks a lot for doing PNG. Really appreciate it. <coughs> is this exactly the same? And while I'm here, let me just check this. No, you could start up there. Never mind. Uh, this sniper rifle, though. I mean, here are the Sega 300s. We've got the two DLC guns. Wrong button, I apologise. Subsonic, suppressor, marksman, extended scope. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Let's just test, test it out right quick. Okay, it's got a different sight from the C300, but it's... I mean, I'm sure it'll get the job done exactly the same way. In fact, I think I prefer this sight because the DOS is much smaller.
Let's try and get a well lit area where we can see the colour of the sniper rifle. Yeah, I need to look at this under better light, but I really like the design of that. Just the way it looks. Very nice. The only thing I'd maybe have against it is that it doesn't do piercing. Yeah, look at that. Look at the side there. It says Seeger 300 Advanced. It is a skin of the standard rifle. Having said that, the sight is different. So if I'm using the Seeger 300, this is going to be my choice from now on, I think. Um, but yeah, it doesn't do piercing, unlike the Leviathan rifle. Damn, that's some nice attention to detail there. Alright, that's it for today. I'm absolutely stuffed. Probably going to go back to bed after this once I get the video rendering. So yeah, I may be back on tomorrow with some more Elusive Target Arcade. Whenever I'm back on, that's going to be my next priority to get the two Elusive Target Arcades done. Um, if I'm online next week, then there should be a new Elusive Target up, I believe. I might not be eligible for it though. No, that's a couple of weeks away. Uh, July 1st, we're getting the liability again, which we did earlier today, but I believe that's not a year two contract, so that one I'm probably going to be locked out of doing. Which is fine, because next week we've got uh, featured contracts coming up, Heatstroke, and I need to work on the two elusive targets, that to target arcades that I have not done today. Yeah, I need to go back to bed. My brain is not working at all. I think we do have a couple of 99s here. Yep, there and there, which are connected to the Elusive Target Arcades. So that's going to be my first priority for my next stream. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. I'm going to go back to bed and die now. So thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. And I'll be back online very soon, as always.